Many of us spend a lot of time teaching our kids to mind their manners, but how well do we know these manners ourselves? Okay, today we're going to brush up on how to behave before, during, and after a dinner party. Etiquette expert Amy Symington joins us from FinesseWorldwide.com. Hi, Amy. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Hi, thank you. I feel like I need to sit up straight. We're at the yes, table. Yes, please and do. <laughs> yes. Just mind your manners, please. Some <laughs> things to keep in mind when we go to a dinner party. Right, absolutely. So first of all, when you're invited to to a party. Remember to RSVP. So many people actually forget that little step and it's not very nice to the host. So RSVP. Also to bring a little something if you're going to go to someone's house for a dinner party. So a bottle of wine, something small for the house. Mm -hmm. um, That's a nice way to show some appreciation because this, this person has put themselves out and spent a lot of time and money preparing for this evening. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So I think it's nice to always bring something with you if, if you go to someone's house. Okay. okay. If you go to a party, whether it's in someone's house or in a restaurant and you don't know someone. It is a great idea just to go up and introduce yourself and have that big smile, the eye contact, a nice firm handshake. A lot of people judge you by your handshake actually. Yes. And so to make a good first impression, have that nice firm handshake and don't look away when you're meeting them. Mm -hmm. okay. um, and another thing to remember if you are going to a party and they have name tags, so a lot of people don't know each other. It's interesting because many people don't know if they put the name tag on the right or the left. And actually there was a survey we did on Charlotte Today on the Facebook Facebook page and more than 50% of the people didn't know which side. So you always put your name tag on the right, right side. side. Mm -hmm. So when you're shaking someone's hand, they can look up your arm and read your name tag. Uh -huh. so those are just some hints when you actually I love that party. one. Always remember that. That's a good one, right? Side. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. So are we ready to eat or is there something else we need to remember to do before the meal? Well, when you sit down to eat, um, it's nice to remember that you sit in the place that you are assigned to sit. So sometimes if you have little name cards, don't Move them around because I've you want to. People sit. do I that. Like, I've oh, I want to sit next to Colleen. Yes. It's well, crazy. I don't want to get stuck next to <laughs> people. <laughs> right? You, you know look. What I mean? you I'm thinking when All I right. put out name tags, I don't want certain people next to each other because that could be trouble. Exactly. So like, I'm going to separate to Ramona and Colleen. Do your assign. All right. Do your assign. And then when you sit down, you're going to take your name. Uh, your sorry, your your napkin. And you're gonna place it on your lap, and it's not flapping around. You just place it on your lap mm -hmm. like this, and then if I can't when go you like this, no, you cannot do that unless <laughs> you're under two. Okay. Um, if you're passing food around, a lot of people, again in the survey, I think it was only 30% of the people actually knew which way to serve food. So if you're passing something, um, and you don't want it to all get bunched up in the middle, is remember that the right way to pass food is to the right. Mm -hmm. So if this were a bowl of something, I would pass it to the right, Thank and we would you pass it around. That way. So if I get the bowl and Colleen wants some, I've got to send it around the table. Just okay. a minute. Just a minute. <laughs> You'll get it soon. Settle Actually, it, the person who's next to you on your left, you can give it to that person. Okay. Otherwise, it goes all the way around all to right. the right. Okay. All right. So Other that's something to, to keep remember. in mind during the meal. Okay. So during the meal, is you're always going to start using your silverware from the outside working in. So how we have it set here is that the smaller fork is actually your salad fork that you would use first. Mm -hmm. And this is a larger spoon, so this would be your soup spoon that you would use. So you would use these first, and then this is for your main course. Okay. The Outside working in. Right. And then the silverware at the top, this is for dessert. Okay, so you leave that there. Also, many people don't know, especially in a situation like this, where the, the glass and the bread plates are so close together, is which is, is, is mine? So if you remember this simple tip, this will help you, is to make under the table a small B and D with your finger so that you know for B, is, this is my bread plate. So that is your mm -hmm. bread plate, Colin. And then D, this is my drink glass. So, so don't be doing this at the dinner party, but do it underneath <laughs> the table, and that way you'll know which is which. Good little trick too, isn't yeah, it? I'm not texting. I'm trying to figure out which is my bread and which is my water. Those right. are easy to remember, though. The yeah, the they're just little things. Yeah. What about during the meal, uh, as far as the conversation is concerned? Well, it's important not just to pick your favorite person and talk to that person the whole time. What you want to be able to do is to talk to the person to your right, talk to the person to your left, and the person directly opposite you. Um, I've been at dinner parties where they are off in their own little world talking about something and I'm sitting here mm -hmm. twiddling my thumb. So just remember to kind of be all inclusive and not be screaming to the person who's you know far down the table mm -hmm. either. Okay. Um, another thing about the salt and pepper that a lot of people don't know. So if you were to ask me to pass the salt, what I actually would do is take the salt and pepper together, passing it to the right, and then you would place it on the table next to Ramona. Amy, I didn't want the pepper. 
No, Too bad. Joking. <laughs> they stay together. <laughs> the they stay together. Friends, they always stay they, together. Uh, exactly. Very good. Exactly. That's what they do. So those are just some basic tips for during the meal. And quickly, in about 10 seconds or less, sorry about that, after the meal, send a thank you note, perhaps, or give a phone call yes, to the hostess. Yes, absolutely. And one tip um, when you're actually here is mm -hmm. to indicate that you're done eating. You're going to oh, place yeah. your silverware with the knife blade facing in, facing sort of if this were a clock face, mm -hmm. from the 10 to 4 position. And that's how you would indicate that you're done. Okay. Oh. Very good. Okay, That's thank a good you, little Amy. tip. Finesseworldwide.com. Finesseworldwide.com is Amy Symington's website. Amy, thank you very much. Thanks That's for having me. Amy. All right, coming up next this morning, we continue Cookie Week with Chef Mark Allison. He's making traditional Welsh cakes. Yes, this is a recipe so easy, even Ramona or your kids can help.